So why should you study theology? Let me give you a couple of reasons why studying theology is essential. Not just important, but essential for you. First of all, the great commandment. Jesus says that we should love him with all of our heart, all of our soul, all of our mind, and all of our strength. If we're going to love Jesus with all of our mind, then we have to know what his word says. In order to know what his word says, you have to read it, you have to study it, and you have to understand it. And so theology, the study of God, is the study of what God has told us about himself and his word. And it helps us to understand who God is so we can love him with all of our mind. There's a second reason, though, that we should also do theology, and that's the Great Commission. The Great Commission tells us to go out into all of the earth and to make disciples, baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, and then teaching them all things that he has commanded. So we haven't done our job until we have made disciples, until we have taught them all things. Well, how do you teach people all things if you don't know what God has said in His Word? And so as we study theology, we learn what God has told us so that we can teach people about Him. It also helps us with evangelism. Just right up the road here, I met a lady named Ruthie, and Ruthie came from a Catholic background. And so I was asking her and talking with her, and she says that in the Catholic tradition, it's going through the, the steps, the sacraments, it's baptism. It's those type things that lead to salvation. So I was explaining to her the difference in what we believe the Bible teaches about soteriology, the study of salvation, the doctrine of salvation, and that it's by faith through grace, and that's how somebody's saved. It's not through steps, it's not through religion, it's not through rituals, but it's by grace through faith. It's through a relationship with Jesus Christ. Now it's understanding soteriology that brings in that concept in evangelism. Think about this, what if you're in your church ministering and somebody has a miscarriage and they want to know what happens to that baby? That's theology. When somebody walks up to you and they're having a problem because somebody's just died and they want to know where their father is or where their mother is, or maybe they're struggling uh, with doing things they don't want to do, all of those things are practical theology. It's where theology meets, interacts with people. It's our evangelism. It's our discipleship. And unless you know theology, you're never going to be a good minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ. So that's why you should focus on this class and study theology.